Three times a Madeira woman expecting her first child went to her doctor thinking she was in labor. And three times they sent her home. But when her fi water finally broke, the wait was over. Once the baby was ready, they were nowhere near their doctor or a delivery room. This is six week old Alexander Mason Clement. His ride into his mother's arms was wilder than most. When we were in the car, and I was really scared that we'd have to deliver him on the side of the road, and that freaked me out. After a week of false alarms and doctor visits, Samantha Clement found herself in the back seat of her father in law's car in labor. We um, thought we could make it to St. Agnes. But the baby wasn't waiting. She starts yelling that she's going to have, I have to push. And she's screaming, like lifting herself up with the, um, the side handle on the roof of the car. The only thing I could think of was to dial 911. Emergency department, this is Tara. The closest place, Children's Hospital, Central California. They called us and they said that there is a dad uh, on the phone, frantic, uh, calling 911 because um, his wife is delivering in the car. Roger Awad was in charge of the ER when the call came in. And obviously, anxiety kicks in because we don't deliver babies and when we can but we don't deliver babies but his team of nurses and a doctor got ready ER they constantly tell you you got to prepare so we prepare for everything typically see whatever comes through the front door the Clements were about to my dad came around the corner and the tires chirped a little bit and we came right up to the front I think we actually even pulled up onto the drive or the walkway this this big guy comes out of nowhere and he's like my wife is delivering so I was like Okay, this must be him. What struck me was he was just so calm and we're so frantic and worried about it. He said, if you have a contraction, just stop, just squeeze my hand. Yeah. And she squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And um, I think four days later, I still had some <laughs> fingerprints. I don't really remember too, too much of it. I think I'm blocking it out. Awad's team of nurses and Dr. Kruanik were ready. It was a little bit loud. I think everybody was excited because, again, this doesn't happen very often. There was like this a sea of blue, like nurses and RNs and doctors and everybody, respiratory techs and neonatal nurses. I hear as I'm walking out, she goes, how much am I dilated? And I hear Dr. Kronik, she goes, you're crowning. <laughs> so, I mean, the head was right there. She came in in full labor. She was 100% dilated and the head was ready to come out. And out he came. The childbirth is a miraculous process, and to see it and to see a baby come out beautiful, breathing well, a mom and dad who are over the moon. 23 minutes after they walked in the door, Alexander Mason Clement joined them. Hi. That baby is cute. Baby Alexander is only the third baby born at Children's Hospital in 60 years. And that doctor and those nurses, well, they delivered babies before in nursing school and during a residency. Someday he'll realize all the commotion he caused. Oh, my goodness. Well, now, out of six kids, any close calls? No. For the... No. No close calls. No. Just yeah, right it was on. Pretty smooth. We well, were very see, fortunate. She was saying, yes, okay, first time mom, but it wasn't like she was just kind of waiting around and waited too late. She had been to the hospital several times. And they sent her home. That's right. But this time, when it was ready, he was ready. No stopping him. Yeah.